that completes the toss. So uh, there's a lot of different ways you can use the hip toss or you can you, uh, accomplish a hip toss. Uh, one of the most common ways to do that is if we have sleeve grip or wrist grip here, and I'm gonna reach here, I'm gonna grab the opposite side, belt, hip, you know, whatever I can get a hold of, right? What I wanna try to do is I wanna try to keep them bent over this way. I'm trying to create this little cave here to be able to hit my, fit my hips across, right? So once I'm here, my goal is to be able to get them to lean a little bit, right? So it helps me take it, uh, get a little more space in there. And I'm gonna slide my hips in. And then I do this, I extend out. And this creates the lift for the hip toss, right? So I'm here, I'm pulling them in, I'm crowding them, I'm keeping them bent over as much as possible. I'm gonna push, step, and then here. At this point, I'm going to rotate, I'm gonna look to my opposite foot, the opposite of where his head's at. So his head's on my right side, I'm gonna look to my left, and I'm gonna follow through here, and that completes the toss. So if I do that just a little bit quicker, here, push, turn, and toss. That follow through is really important. If you do not follow through, what ends up happening is you get to this point and you do this. And this guy can just sit back and make this really hard for you to accomplish, right? So get in them to get bent over however you want to do that. Sometimes you might have to push your opponent. Sometimes you might have to chase them a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I do a lot is I kind of corkscrew into them. You may have seen that. If I'm here and he starts to move, even if he kind of moves away from me, I'm just gonna follow him and rotate. And that helps me with my follow through of rotating in, so I'm kind of corkscrewing into the ground. So you're really leading with your hips more than stepping through. Right. And uh, I know as your hip kind of covers my belt to you, or covers my body line here. Right, if I do not complete my hip all the way through, then you just kind of pop off, right? Uh, that's what kind of leads to the whole other types of trips where people try to walk with their leg at the same time. Uh, since we're focusing on just the hip toss, right, I have to try to get all the way across the block out at all, right? Because this does nothing. This just, this can kind of get it, but if I don't get here fast enough, he just pulls back and I don't have anything. So yeah, I rotate. I push my hips through as far as I can and rotate and get them over that way.